Hey everyone, and Virgo, welcome to your June monthly reading. Let's find out what's coming up for Virgo in love and life and everything in between. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What do we have for Virgo? I hope everyone is doing well. If you're in the U.S., you're cel if you're celebrating the long weekend holiday, the long holiday weekend, I hope it's all fun and dandy. All right, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's get started. Okay, we're starting strong, sharp. You're looking sharp for the for the month, at least to start with. Mm, okay. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. It's more about diligence, money, consistency. I feel like that is what you're practicing right now. You're practicing diligence, resilience, and money making, <laughs> which is good for long-term stability. Yeah. You're building some sort of foundation or you're looking for a relationship that could, uh, that could be with you for a longer time rather than just for one or two days. You could be eyeing for someone right now, Virgo, where you feel like, wow, this could be a relationship material type of person. You know, that sort of thing. You are you have this eagle's eye right now looking out, especially if you're not in any way committed or um committed to someone. So you're you're searching, browsing, yeah. But for the most part, you're looking for that something that could stick with you. Yeah. I feel like you're concentrating more on earning more money, saving up perhaps, or learning or trying to expand whatever you already have, expand your business and, and expand uh, business partnerships yeah, into possibly creating uh, a company for yourself, something like that. It's, it's, around, it's around that um, energy that you are focusing at the current moment. Coming into June though, um, I feel like you're coming in strong for the month. Yeah, There is a sense that you know what you're doing, you know what you're good at, and you won't hesitate to say your piece, yeah? to make your commands, to make your demands, whether it is in your, I don't know, whether it is in your business, but there is the sense that you know what you want, you're capable of saying it out loud, and you want that to happen. So you are in control. You are in command. A sense of confidence is pretty strong here. And if there are some nitigrity or some issues that will be presented to you, I feel like you might hear them, you might listen for them a bit, but you won't really participate so much into it, which for the most part is also good. You know, if it is... If, if the storyline is, is telling you about all this drama and all that, and uh, you feel like it's not good for your vibe, it's not good for your energy, then why bother? Yeah, this is what a Virgo would say. Why would I bother? I have a lot of things to count now. <laughs> it's more like, I feel like you have a lot in your plate right now, which are more important than whatever other people would probably bring into your life right now. Perhaps you would think that you're busy with your business, with your work, with everything else. And then if somebody comes in and tells you something, it's more about drama or issues or problems, which for you, you would think, how would that help me in my current situation? How would that make my current situation improve when I'm already too busy? You know, something like that. So you might give them, you might even, you know, share your listening ear at this point. But for the most part, I feel like you won't really 
dip yourself into deep waters here. It's more like probably you just test the waters. Oh, okay, so you're good. You're doing good. Oh, that's the problem. All right. So, you know, it's more like that. You, your approach is going to be more, more, yeah, it's not superficial, but you're not dipping in too deep. Yeah, you're not dipping in too deep. Um. Okay. Primarily, you're doing that because you know that on your own, you can make it on your own. You made it on your own. So, you know, there is a sense here in the beginning of the month that you would think you are where you're at right now because of possibly all the hard work that you've done. Um, you have made your way up yeah, to get to where you're at right now, to experience the comfort that you are experiencing right now. So if people will try to alienate you, for example, whether this is in a community or in your, in your workplace, for example, for you, it's like, well, I will survive. I can do it. I can make it with or without you for now. Perhaps you will find new people to help you out, new people to work with. But it doesn't mean that your success is dependent on whoever this is or whatever this is that is, you know, clamoring around you. Like I said, you will probably give a few minutes of your time to listen, but you won't dip yourself much into whatever drama waters they have in place. Yeah. For some of you, I feel like this could be you um, letting somebody know your boundaries, letting somebody know that this is where you stand. This is, um, if you need my help, then these are the things that is expected from this connection or something like that. You're putting up your boundaries too. Um, hmm. I also see that there is a possibility for you to uh, keep tabs on somebody here. There is a possibility for you to keep tabs on somebody, but you won't really mingle so much with that person or with the issue that they have in their life, but you will try to to keep tabs on them. For, for some reason, you would do that. <clears throat> now, In the middle of the month, uh, middle of June, yeah, sometime maybe June 15, I feel like you will I feel like you will um there is a sense that you will be hopeful of an approval or of uh, receiving a call from someone uh, receiving uh, feedback from somebody. There is a sense that you are hopeful for that uh, because in your own right now, I don't see you really initiating. So I don't see you initiating much to somebody, but you're up in your head thinking, what is going on? Why is this person not talking? Or why am I, am I not getting any response from this company? Why am, am I still not getting approval from whatever institution you're trying to get approval from. And you keep on wondering, is there a chance for for this to ever happen to me? Whatever this is, yeah? So there's a lot of you there. I, I couldn't itemize everything that's your, that you're going on right now. But whatever you're, you're kind of thinking to happen, it seems like it's taking a little bit of time for it to uh, work or to happen for you. And you're beginning to lose that sense of don't worry Virgo he's gonna call or she's gonna call or you'll get that approval you'll get that job I feel like you'll get to a point where you, you you begin to think you begin to think that well perhaps this person is never gonna call me anymore or there is no hope for this so you're losing hope in this sense diminishing hope in the middle of the month but you know what um You know what I see that if 
if you're hoping for something, whatever the universe is sort of providing to you or will provide to you, I feel like it's even better than what you already know or what you have been expecting. So, I don't know. I, I can't even think of an example. But what I'm seeing here is you may be wishing for something that is, for you, it's going to be, okay, if I get this, if I get this person to call me, or if this person calls me, I'm going to be 100% happy. But you know what? Whatever you're asking it seems like the universe is saying this is this is the thing that you shouldn't be asking because you deserve something more. You deserve something greater than this and this is what I'm going to give to you. So what I'm seeing here is you might start to lose hope in terms of what your initial expectations are from someone or from somebody from an from an institution or whatever but more of because you you won't get a response from those people, but more of the universe is going to give you something that is shinier, better, bigger, as compared to what you have been expecting. Yeah? So there is a bigger chance there. And that would leave you to think that, I don't know, an example perhaps would be, if you're waiting for this person to call you, I feel like that person will never call. But then there is another person who is a lot better, greater, you know, at least, I, I don't know, there is, there is that better option, better choice that will be presented to you. And then you will find yourself sort of thinking, okay, with this, as a replacement, this is not even a replacement. It's it's a better deal that you're going to get. yeah. But it seems like your initial expectations will be replaced with the better deal. And if you have been disappointed in the past towards a person who never calls or an offer that never came, um, you will learn to heal from it. You will... You will get yourself to a point where, okay, I should make peace with it. I should make peace that I will not hear from this person. I will not get that job because there is something better. And I feel like, okay, I feel like there is a twist here toward from mid of the year towards the end, uh, mid of the month towards the end of the month. The moment you see this better offer, better chance, better opportunity that will come towards you, you will then start to... Um, put interest into it and any disappointments matters that you have not been resolved in the past I feel like you will try to do a self-resolution you know you, you'll try to make peace with it and then refocus yourself to this new thing that's going to happen to you and this new thing actually is something that will be aligned to what you currently are working for. Yeah. So for some of you, you know, a, a, an example would be if you've been longing to hear from someone and um, you're kind of losing hope in that situation, you're always up in your head, it's giving you anxiety and all that. I feel like there is someone better who's coming along. And once that person comes in, then you will realize, yeah, honestly, this is not the person that I'm expecting. But yes, this is a person that will be in line to what I want. And if you want here a commitment, consistency, that person will give you that. So I feel like there is a, a twist in your energy for the month. Could even be a new acquaintance or a new job or a new, there's something new about it. There's something new about it. For some of you, I see that towards the end of the month, you might be traveling somewhere, which could bring about new sense of enjoyment for you, at least for the moment, yeah, and could even help you forget or at least push the anxiety, the issues that you may have in the past, push it aside for now. And slowly but surely, it will be left behind in the past. Because I see you moving towards a phase of 
being more calm, being more at peace with yourself, with your decision, and what you will be working towards the future, right? Let's get you an advice. Higher self. Oh, you are in alignment with your higher self, honing in your beauty and owning your uniqueness. So, yeah, the confidence that I'm seeing in the beginning of the month is actually um, a reflection yeah, of you being in alignment with your higher self. At this point, you already know why you're confident, why you need to continue to be confident because you know what you want, you know who you are. Yeah, and you know exactly wherever you're at right now, that is where you deserve it. Yeah. But for the most part, if there are some external forces that are not aligning with your intentions on how to move your life forward, well, perhaps they may not even be meant to be there in the first place. You know, that, that sort of thing. That's what I see. And a new opportunity will come along which would give you that new sense of, hey, life is not that bad after all. Maybe this could be a new chance. Maybe this could be a new chance for a new business or a new person to, to get to know with, you know, something like that. For some of you, you will meet somebody new during your travels. And it, this is a meeting that can also make you feel excited, can also help you heal whatever pain you have, especially in the emotions part. Dolphin spirit, stop taking life so seriously and splash some joy in your everyday life. All right. So if, um, Virgo, if you've been pretty serious about, you know, in the details of when, when are you going to get what you're waiting for and all that, it's more the advice here for the month is more about shower a little bit of joy in your everyday life. Yeah. Because that will make life more interesting and meaningful. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.